Hmm. All right, we got the three of air and the two of air right off the bat. Okay. Um, let me put these out here and we'll take a look and see further. But it looks like a lot of you guys in the second half of the month are going to be doing some overthinking. You're going to be trying to make a decision about something and someone, okay? And it's going to be heavily on your mind. Some of you... Um, Maybe experiencing some heartache, some heartbreak, <clears throat> um, some betrayal, something like that. Or you're going to be thinking a lot about it and you're going to be kind of like going to both sides, like your side, their side, this side, you know, you're just going to be overthinking a little bit in the second half of November. I can see that. Okay. Um, but let's see what's happening. This could just be regarding one specific situation. It could be a job. It could be something somebody's done to you. It could be regarding a relationship. It could be regarding your life situation. For some of you, it's regarding a boss, a father figure, or a supervisor, or somebody like that. Um, it also could be a partner. It looks like it's an Aries, a um, an Aries for the emperor, but it could also be a Leo or any other fire sign. Somebody that's in management, control, um, difficult to, you know, they're, they're very strong, opinionated. We got the nine of water, which is awesome. Wish fulfillment. Okay, so let's take a look further at what's going on here. What is this three of air for Sagittarius for the second half of November? What is the three of air for Sagittarius? Hmm, this doesn't give us very much clarity. We got the moon on the three of air. Definitely for some of you, it's something that's very confusing, something that you don't have clarity on. Um, something that the light hasn't really quite become clear on. So that's why you guys are in your head about it. Okay. It could be regarding a love situation that's been confusing situations and misunderstandings and stuff like that. Um, something that's been hidden from you or, or, or I just feel like you're not clear on for some of you, it's a heartache regarding a relationship. Like I said, some of you, it's a betrayal, backstab, something that happened. And some of you, it's regarding just it just overthinking things because you, you're you you're feeling a little bit in the fog. I feel like you guys are feeling a little foggy the second half of the second half of November. Okay. And this is starting like on the 20th through the end of the month for some of you. A little tired, a little lethargic, a little bit overthinking. Okay. Some of you, it's regarding money, but I got to tell you, I feel like money is coming through for you guys pretty strongly. Some of you just are single and you're kind of like, don't want to be. Um, yeah, you guys are in your head. The second half of November. You're definitely got a lot on your mind and you're thinking about everything. <laughs> That's what I see you doing. You're thinking about everything, Sag. I'm sorry. It's just like deep in thought. Maybe you're going to be having some premonitions. Some, it's You're going to definitely uncover some stuff thinking this much. Because <laughs> I see you thinking a lot here. I'm sorry. But sometimes it's good. You get clarity on it, you know? Yeah, for some of you, it's regarding a partnership, a love relationship that you're confused about. And you're kind of like focusing on yourself right now, but it's really on your mind, okay? And for some of you, it's just everything. I feel like there's just, this is like everything on your mind, all those, all the different things. Like you're just thinking a lot. Some of you are thinking about love. Some of you are thinking about a partnership, okay? Um, somebody that's pretty independent and got their stuff together. But I feel like you guys are going to be making money even though you're in your head, okay? If that is any reconciliation. <laughs> I do feel like you're going to be having some money come through. Let's, let's check out this emperor. What's going on here for Sagittarius second half of November? Remember, this is only two weeks, okay, you guys? Things can turn around. Um, the emperor for Sagittarius. What's this emperor, please? This is a person in power, a boss, a supervisor, a father figure, um, somebody that's a manager, could be a love interest, an Aries that's, that's got a position of power. They're, they're, they're really good at, at making plans and, and organizing. Some of you moved away from this person, may have left the job, 
or they may have moved away from you. This could be the person that's causing you a lot of stress. It looks like it's an Aries, but it doesn't have to be um, because these are general readings. But you moved away from them or they moved away from you and they're heavily on your mind along with a whole lot of other things. Along with a whole lot of other things. If this is a boss, things are going to be made right, okay? There's some balance in the situation that's going to come about with this emperor. Um, I also feel like this could go vice versa. This emperor person is, have, you're heavily on their mind. And they're trying to make a decision, but they're just... They're confused. What is this justice? Something was imbalanced in this relationship. If it was a boss, they weren't treating you right or something, and you had to leave or you moved away or you just, you've been stuck about it. You've been thinking heavily about it. It's brought you a bunch of grief, okay? Definitely, you've been sad about this emperor person, the situation, okay, Aries? It could be a boss, could be a, a friend, a family member, a father figure. But it looks like it's going to be, something's going to be made right. There may, it looks like an apology could be coming through or you want to make it right with them. Or the universe is going to step in and do something. What is this nine of water for Sagittarius? Well, there is a wish fulfillment coming through on a soulmate business partnership, perfect business partnership, soulmate relationship. Okay, this is a very special connection and it's a wish being fulfilled and it's coming in. Those of you that are single, this person's going to show up. <laughs> this person's going to show up for those of you that are single. For those of you that this could be the emperor person or this nine of earth person, somebody that's very stable. Um... You walked away from them. You moved away from them. Something. Wow. There's a big love for you guys. A new start. And it looks like whatever this was is going to come through with an apology or fix the situation. Either you want to fix it with them or they're going to fix it with you. And it's a true love. Very highly compatible. I mean, this is a wish fulfillment in a big way. And this is a brand new start of like big love. Especially with this two of water. Holy smokes. This is like, and for some of you, it's a business partnership. Let's say you were in a business partnership with this person and they were not, they were unjust to you. Okay. And you just left. There's a new one coming in. That's awesome. Okay. Um, and for those of you that this is a love interest that you moved away from or they moved away from you or just took a time out. Okay. Okay. They've been very griefed about it and they want to make things right with you. I mean, there's love. There's a wish fulfillment. There's a brand new start here. There's a, I see you being in your head a lot first and then everything just pulling through, which is totally awesome. Keep those thoughts positive. You guys. Okay. You know that you're Sagittarius. What am I talking about? Get out of this. Don't, don't stay in this no matter what. Okay. Don't. Um, just turn it positive. Think about only the things that you want, not the things you don't want and the things that went wrong. That's all the past. You can't do anything about it. You got to just move forward and think about the things that you do want and take initiative and action on those things. But you definitely have a love relationship strongly coming through here. Um, can you tell me about this emperor person? What's the situation with them? For some of you, this is you because it could be a fire sign. You're the one that's in charge here. Ooh, the emperor and the empress. Holy smokes. It's been a severe burden, okay? You guys got somebody who's a soulmate, twin flame, somebody here. End of story. I mean, honestly. Okay, you both could be bosses, both be supervisors, both be people that are in charge. Both are very, you're both attractive, sexual, sex, sexy, powerful. A wish fulfillment, soulmate, starting new, okay? But there's definitely been some grief and some stuckness here. Somebody wasn't dealing with it well or had to leave or was overwhelmed or busy but you guys have been in your head about it and now it's like hey this is love this is a, this is a, this is the one this is the friggin one okay and it makes you really happy whoever this person is for those of you that this resonates with okay 
this is like called cards of Aries, but they could be, all right, it doesn't matter because these are general readings, any sign, but if they're a person that's, you know, when they're your emperor and the empress, you're like, we are the perfect match, okay? We're both in charge, we're both leaders, we're both, um, we both got what it takes to, to make things the way that we want. We're both very attractive. We both are, are initiators. Okay. But something happened here. Let's check out this, what happened because this has been a burden. Okay. Some of you have been really stressed out about this. What is this three of air? What happened? Aries, what happened with this three of air? Why is the three of air here? Hmm, lack of equal give and take here. Okay, there was some imbalance. There was more giving, more taking, wasn't balanced. Um, because this is what went wrong and causes three of air. So, one person was giving more to the relationship than the other. Okay? And I'm not exactly sure why, because you guys are perfect. Maybe there's fear here. Maybe... Ugh. I'm sorry, you guys. This is Sagittarius. I've been saying Aries. You guys put a lot of work into this situation. Some of you might be involved with a Sag, uh, with a Aries, okay? Because I've been saying that because these two cards are Aries. But this is you, Sag. There wasn't, that you guys spent some time together, okay? There's been some time invested, probably around eight months, eight weeks, could be. But there was a lack of, one person was putting more into this relationship than the other. So you know what side you're on here. But it's a soulmate. It's a wish fulfillment. There's a brand new start. There's money coming through for you guys. And you're going to be a lot in your head for the second half of this month. You're going to be a lot in your head second half of the month. And then all this is going to come together. And money's coming your way. And whoever this love relationship person that you know is a perfect match for you. There's going to be an apology. You're going to apologize or they're going to apologize or something and you're going to reconnect again. And it's something you've been really wanting. And for those of you that this is a business partnership, if you're leaving this old one, there's a new one coming through that is better. That is awesome. And those of you that left your job, there's a new one coming through here too. Whoa, what the heck? Let's check out this. Yeah, you guys are completing something. Okay, you're going probably have some 12th house transits going on where you're completing something. It's the end. It's a full moon. Hey, there's a full moon in Taurus too. So the full moon may have something to do with it. It's going to activate all of this. Okay? It's gonna totally activate this. The full moon is gonna kinda set all this in in Taurus, we're having one. Hmm, so this is actually, Sag, you guys are definitely you're going to be a little submerged in the middle of in the second half of this month, okay, to the end of the month. The end of the month, you're going to be feeling like you're going deep through your, your um, deep subconscious. That makes sense because Mars is going to be transiting in Scorpio, which is your 12th house. Okay, yes, that makes sense. You guys are going to be going through some deep thought, introspection, but then you're going to come out with... Everything that you need. There's a purification that's in the process. Okay, this is just for the second 
half of November. But you got a twin soul, soulmate, whatever, fabulous relationship that's grieving over you. You're grieving over them, but it looks like it's going to be made right. It's going to be made right. Tell me in the comments about this at the end of the month, okay? Because I'm telling you, at the end of the month, if you're not feeling this, let me know because I feel it. This is what's happening here. Take care of your health, relax, take care of your health, nurture yourself second half of this month, okay? You're gonna be getting a message and I think it's gonna be from this person or you're gonna be messaging a person but I think it's gonna be either way but there's gonna be a new beginning in the situation. Absolutely new beginning in the situation and you know who this person is. <laughs> you know who this person is, all right you guys? All right, I hope you found this helpful, Sagittarius. I'm sorry I mentioned Aries. It's only because of these two cards here. And maybe some of you are involved with an Aries. Um, but I'm sending you positive energy for all the best. Money's gonna come through. You're gonna be a little bit in your head. You're gonna be a little bit tired. Take care of your health, nurture yourself. You're gonna be starting new with this new person, new job, new situation, but money, you're gonna be financially good, okay? So don't stay stuck in that, don't stay stuck in this submerged place and overthinking in your head, okay? If you can fight it, you can get out of it, you won't deal with it. Just don't allow it to happen when it starts to happen, okay? But make sure you get lots of rest, you take care of yourself, okay? The medicine wheel is about taking care of your health, especially if Mars is transiting the 12th house. When that happens, it's hospitals, it's bed, it's tiredness, it's overthinking, overactive mind, it's all that stuff. So if you take care of yourself, you can overcome these astrological effects. All right, you guys, lots of love to you. Thanks so much for joining me and listen to me as always. I love you guys so much.